A set is any collection of objects or ideas. These can be concrete, like a set of books, or a set of pens, or a set of letters, or even a set of concrete. Or they can be abstract, like a set of ideas, or a set of letters, or a set of numbers. The objects or ideas in the set are called elements of the set. Given two sets, we can combine the elements in a few ways. The first way, called the union of the sets, just takes all of the elements from both sets and collects them together. In particular, an element is in the union of two sets if it is either in one set or it is in the other, or possibly both. The second way to combine elements together, called the intersection of the sets, will only take elements that appear in both sets. An element is in the intersection if and only if it is in both of the original sets. As an example, if we take all the signers of the Declaration of Independence and the set of all U.S. presidents, then the elements will be people, like John Hancock and Woodrow Wilson. The union of these two sets will be all of the people, presidents and signers alike. So Benjamin Franklin is in the union, even though he was never president, and Teddy Roosevelt is in the union, even though he did not sign the Declaration. He was much too young. Even Thomas Jefferson, who's in both of these two sets, will be in the Union. The intersection, on the other hand, is much more exclusive. It'll consist of only people who are both signers and have been president. This list is only two people. It's only Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. A set is a subset of another set if every element in the first set is also an element in the latter. The set of haiku is a subset of the set of all poetry. There is one set that contains no elements. This is called the empty set. The complement of a set is a collection of all elements not in the given set. The complement of the set of green cars would contain orange cars, red cars, and pickles. To make talking about complements more useful, we usually specify a universe to work in. This universe called the universal set, will tell us which elements are available when we construct any set. So if the universe is just the set of all cars, then the complement of the set of green cars will be only cars, but it'll be all cars that are not green. This was a lot of definitions. In the next video, we're going to talk about the notation that goes along with these definitions, and this will allow us to analyze sets and all the things that go along with them a lot more concretely.